Well, here I am, the retired rail fan horn guy, a devoted New York sports fan. Well, didn't see any lightning bolts come out of the sky. Well, hey, I've been going to Philadelphia for over 50 years. I'm devoted to that city, so why not be devoted to their baseball team, their football team? Maybe I should become a Flyer fan and a Sixers fan, too. You know, the thing about Philly is I, I love the city, and I think the city might possibly love me a little bit back. Oh, well. well I'm at the Pine Lawn Long Island Railroad Station today to get the rush hour, and I'm uh, going to do some Schneider rail fanning. Now, what do I mean by that? You've heard of Schneider, Schneider Trucking Company, the largest trucking company in the United States. And look at this sweater I'm wearing, depicting that. This is all part of a deranged sickness that was started by Ian Tash and this retired Long Island Railroad conductor named Michael. I don't know, I, I, I question their cognizant ability. Um, they definitely need to see therapists, but they've developed this obsession with Schneider for some reason. I don't know why they're rail fans and we get together with this group of rail fans every now and then whenever we watch CSX trains and Schneider is a big customer of CSX. They go by with those bright orange containers. They're always yelling out like insane lunatics, Schneider, Schneider, Schneider. Oh, I, don't, I don't even want to be seen on the street with them, but it's contagious. I don't know. I think something's going to have to be done. I, I made an appointment with my therapist for tomorrow to deal with this. But um, I don't know. It's crazy. Padded cell. Somewhere there are straight jackets waiting for those two guys. And maybe me too and other people that are getting infected with this disease. So the Flying Yankee knows about it. He'll be coming by here later. And uh, I'll drive him nuts with this. It's about 4.40 in the afternoon. Rush hour is getting started. We'll hang out here for a couple hours till it gets dark. And maybe if we're lucky... We'll get RS-51's light power heading west into lawn siding to do his work at Global Distributions. Gorgeous October day, very autumn-like, about 68 degrees, cool nights, we're in for a nice stretch of weather. 60s by day and upper 40s at night. This is what I've been waiting for. Looking east, you can see some of the trees bordering the south end of the cemetery are already starting to bloom with full color. These trees bloom earlier than anything else. By the time the rest of them bloom, there's no leaves left on those things. Well, here comes 1963. Rock I'm at a pen. Nothing stops here from now on. stopped here about 10 minutes ago from now on until tomorrow everything is going to fly by here at track speed and that is 80 miles an hour yeah, you folks have seen uh, Ian Tash in some of my videos he's a knowledgeable transit buff but I think he's mentally inept sometimes when he comes up with these insane obsessions with these companies and uh, Michael is a retired conductor as I told you um, he recently sold about 5,000 HO locomotives. Maybe his wife was threatening to throw an, a waffle iron at him or something, and that's why he did it. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I have to question uh, their behavior. I don't know if they're certifiable, psychotic, or schizophrenic, so I have no idea. But uh, I'm getting just as bad, and some of you guys are gonna look at me and wearing this Phillies hat, and you're really gonna think I flipped my lid. Well. I'm too old to change anyway. I'm 70 years old, so live with it. 452, we have some westbound equipment heading for Penn Station. Pass the colors. <laughs> 456, here comes 1966. Penn Station to Rock Hakama.
58. Here comes another westbound equipment train. This is one busy line. Okay, 507, this is 1968, Penn Station or Aconcoma. Non-stop Westbury to Wine Dance. Approaching fast at 516 is 2064, Grand Central to Ronkakama, a first set of M9 scene. Coming from the right to left at 521 is 1965, Rock Hawk, I'm at a Penn Station. If you like high speed trains with no train stopping, this is a great spot. <laughs> Approaching eastbound at 528 is Train 1970, Penn Station around Kakama, with more M9s approaching the Wellwood Avenue Pine Lawn Road crossing. Getting back to Ian and Michael's unhinged fixation on Schneider, as far as Ian is concerned, it shouldn't surprise anyone that he would have this fixation. What do you expect from a guy who lives in a house that's made entirely of 50,000 Metro cards glued together? And Michael, he sold his huge fleet of HO locomotives. He probably stuffed his mattress with them. There's probably no way to go in his house. And I think his wife just said, plain and simple, get rid of all these HO iron horses or you're getting a 60 mile an hour iron skillet. In fact, I saw him the other day, looked like he had a bump on his head. 545, here comes good old 1056, Penn Station around Kakama. Got a couple of head end rides on this train with M3s, but they don't run M3s out here much anymore. Looking east at 552, we're going to have a, a meet here pretty much. Approaching westbound is 1967 from Rock Hawk, I'm at a Penn Station. And coming from the west over my right shoulder is 2066, Grand Central to Rock Hockama, with more M9s. It's been an M9 downpour here for eastbounds.
at 557 is train 1972, Penn Station, Iran, Kakama. And we have M7s. Approaching is 1060 from Penn Station to Rock Hakama. Beautiful sunset. Approaching is 1967 from Ronkakama to Penn Station. Watch him knock down that reduced aspect signal at Lawn. Right at 632 approaching is a hot train 2068 Grand Central Iraq Hakama goes non-stop from Jamaica to Wine Dance. This is sort of a derivative of the old Ronk Hakama rocket. Runs on a similar schedule. It's been slowed down somewhat. Used to go Jamaica Brentwood non-stop. Now it makes Wine Dance and Deer Park as additional stops. It makes good time on the road. At 6.40, the gates are going down for train 1062 from Grand Central to Ronkakama. We'll have the Flying Yankee, and he's got M9s also. He can probably see my orange sweater all the way over from there. Losing a two. I think I need to go to the sanitarium. And the Phillies are losing right now. Well, if I have to go to any sanitarium, Ian and Michael are paying all the expenses. All right, our last train westbound at 649 is 1971 from Ronkonkoma to Penn Station, fading off into the twilight. It's been a glorious autumn evening amidst the Schneider craziness and eccentricities. Thank you, Ian and Mike. <laughs> 